up guys so i'm actually recording on my new phone so we're gonna see how that works um i got the iphone xs max <laughs> um i just wanted to update you guys on a lot of things because i haven't posted in a really long time actually um so one i was supposed to um make my video for EDC and I have all the clips I just need to put them all together and edit everything the problem is is that my camera died and I don't know where my charge is at right now so I can't transfer the video to my phone because I don't want to transfer it to my computer first then transfer it to my phone because they always seem to be like grainy after you've like transferred them a bunch of times i mean i can still try but we'll see um so that's one video i'm still trying to upload um i have other videos that i haven't uploaded yet that i've made um that i was supposed to upload a million years ago but i didn't <laughs> um two i know a lot of people are asking about the gnc um shake video that i had um so the last time i drank that stuff actually i was drinking it out here too um and working out and i was losing weight um i don't remember how many pounds i, I lost or anything but i was trying to look good for edc before it happened so basically what happened during this whole time frame was I was taking the GNC shake. I was living in Louisiana. Then we had to we move to California. So that was a lot of packing all that stuff. So I wasn't drinking it anymore. So what ended up happening was I stopped. And then we moved out here and I basically got pregnant like probably like the day that we moved out here. Um, so I ended up being pregnant that whole time I had a miscarriage in November sadly and um then I was just really depressed you know from the losing the baby and everything so I was partying a lot <laughs> with one of my friends well my ex-friend and um I was just not caring because I was sad and irritated and um, I ended up gaining weight. Um, so I know the last GNC Shake video, I said I was like 133 and see, now I'm like far from that and it irritates me. So basically, um, yeah, I've gained weight since and I ended up um, then in May, well, in December, January time frame, um, my ex-friend invited me to EDC um, 2018 and I had no idea what that was because I've never been to EDC, I've never heard of it or anything. So she was like, oh, you know, we should work out together, you know, so we can both look good for EDC. And I was like, okay, because I didn't know how they dress and stuff for EDC. So when I saw the outfits that the people wear, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I need to be skinny. So um, I started working out at my uncle's gym, but I didn't start early enough. I should have started in January when I found out, but I didn't start until like, I don't even remember. I probably did it like two months before EDC and so my uncle's like you know you're not gonna lose all this weight by the time EDC comes right and I was like I know but I gotta do what I can do right now so um I don't remember how much I ended up losing but I want to say that like when I started working out I was like 153 and I was able to get down to 143 so I think I lost about 10 pounds for EDC. By the time I went to EDC, I was probably in like the 140 range, which wasn't too bad because um, I'm not like super fat or anything. And my body um, actually looked pretty okay. I wore high waisted everything um, because it just looks better. But I naturally am like small in between here, so it was easier to have like like sort of a small hourglass but I still have you know that side crap that I'm trying to lose um so 
Then, right after I came home from EDC, I <laughs> was sleeping a lot. Like, when I say a lot, I mean like a lot. Like, I was tired all the time. And um, then I decided to take a pregnancy test because I was just so tired all the time and I just felt really off. So I took a pregnancy test, the test came out positive. Um, I actually ended up taking it and I looked at it and it didn't seem like it was gonna be positive. And I was like, whatever, I know it's not gonna be positive, whatever. And I threw it into my nightstand and completely forgot about it. And I come back an hour later in my room and I'm like, oh yeah, the pregnancy test. So I look at the pregnancy test and there's a line there. And I was like, what? And so basically what ended up happening was my doctor told me that I couldn't, after a miscarriage, you can't try for a baby until six months after the miscarriage because it's um, a better chance at you getting pregnant and everything and everything healing the right way. So literally May was our six month, but we had been trying before that. Like we didn't care, we weren't really trying. We just kind of figured, you know what? If it happens, it happens, whatever, who cares? And literally like, the weekend before I left for EDC, I got, I was, apparently that's when I got pregnant because as soon as I came back home from EDC, I took a, I took a pregnancy test and I was positive. Um, so then I told my mom basically immediately that I was pregnant because I didn't want to just hold it from her. Um, he didn't want to tell her right away. He was like, oh, well, let's wait a couple days. And I was like, what's the difference between telling her now and telling her in a couple days? It doesn't matter. She's still going to feel the way wherever she feels. So we got everything set up, everything done um, with the doctor and everything. And I waited and waited um, to tell family until I hit, um, I waited to tell them until I hit 12 weeks, I think. And, um... I finally hit that 12 week mark and then I announced it and everyone was like, oh, wow, baby, congrats. And some people that did know, they were like, finally, I've been waiting for you to tell or whatever. And um, some people feel like they knew, but I just refused to pretend that, you know, they were right. Um, so now I am currently 21 weeks. Um, I will be 22 weeks on Tuesday. Um, originally I was like going great where I was like turning, um, I was, yeah, my, my week was changing every Saturday. So I would be like, you know, 10 weeks on Saturday and then the next Saturday I'd be 11. But then, um, the baby is now growing at the rate that he was supposed to, because at first he was ahead. Now he's like on time. So I am now um 21 weeks i'll be 22 on tuesday and yes it is another boy so i will have three boys running around um and i will do a name reveal whenever you know we pop him out um hopefully i will have him in january and not february because my due date is february 5th um but i hit full term January 15th so between January 15th and February 5th I can go into labor um so hoping you know um so yeah I have to go through Christmas super big um Thanksgiving I'll be way bigger um but at least I'll be able to eat more I guess <laughs> and New Year's Eve I'm gonna be super big too um so I won't be celebrating really well no drinks for me obviously um so yeah, that is basically an update on my life. Um, I'm currently pregnant. I'm not taking GNC shake right now, but once I have the baby, I'm going right back to that routine that I was doing in Louisiana because I was seeing results and I need to lose weight because I'm also going to EDC in 2019 and I want to be smaller than I was in 2018. Plus I want to be small period. Like I want to lose all of this crazy weight that I've gained um and I'm tired of eating like crap <laughs> um so I guess I can show you guys my belly since yeah you guys really didn't know so this is my belly my 20 week I mean my 21 week belly sorry um yeah this is this is him 
um, in there. And he's moving around actually right now. It's kind of funny. And then that's what it kind of looks like with the shirt back. So, yeah. And see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I want to lose right here. All of this. This right here. So once this baby is popped out, I'm going to do everything I can to lose this weight. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That, oops. So, yeah. That is my update on life. Um, I plan to, up, well, I plan to post more. I just need to um, do it. <laughs> um but you guys gotta let me know like what kind of videos do you want to see like what do you want me to talk about and stuff i mean i can still come up with some myself but yeah um so i just thought i'd update people on like videos that they've seen and by the way i know like a bunch of kids were commenting on the whole like um me and frimzy the the video that says am i dating frimzy or whatever i know i'm not dating frimzy guys yeah i mean that was a long time ago anyway but we knew we weren't dating each other. The reason why the caption of that video says, am I dating Frenzy? Because that was the most asked question that I got when I did my um, questionnaire. Um, I did a Q and A, I asked people what they wanted to know and asked me anything. And the most asked question I got was, are you, are you in Frenzy dating? And I was like, no. So that's why the caption says, am I dating Frenzy? Because that was the most asked question. I know I'm not dating him. Um, I actually hit him up probably a couple weeks ago and he hit me up back, you know, and we talked briefly. And, but other than that, I think he's like super busy because like he doesn't go on Snapchat anymore. He doesn't do Instagram. He doesn't do anything anymore. So I don't know what he's doing. I guess he just quit social media. Um, but if you do message him on uh, Snapchat, he may or may not respond. He responds to me. But um, yeah, so that is my update on life. Um, I'm glad to be back and let you guys know what's going on. And um, I hope you guys have a blessed year, day, month, whenever you're watching this video. And goodbye.